Hey, brothers, sisters, what's going on? Um, someone asked, "What was the seventh dimension about?" And you know, we have approached the seven dimensions. Um, there are so many who give out information, but you know, in order to understand this, you must link into it. The seven dimensional energy is all about frequencies and vibrations. It's an informational um, dimension. All right, I don't like my vibrations are high right now. My teeth are like I can feel it in my teeth. I can feel my teeth just, you know, put my teeth together. I can feel that high vibration. I can feel it all over my body frequencies and then I get these high frequencies and it's got information and information comes to me like you know earlier I um, took my daughter we had a daddy daughter date um, took her to the movie she wanted to see that um, demon slayer so I took her to you know movies when we went and saw it and uh, while we were there um, waiting um because she got some popcorn and all um i had got like two heavy frequencies they were really really sharp frequencies and the information came to me that the energy is building to destroy their weather control system and i'm like okay this is a good thing so the energy has learned their system, you know, you gotta understand that energy is alive. So when you go into the uh, into the seventh dimension, this is a dimension of high frequencies and vibrations, which means that it raises your level of energies. It's an informational um, dimension where you um, or brothers and sisters who are aligned, who are in tune, will receive massive amounts of information it's like it's non-stop um the astral realm will be extremely busy um i was getting going to meditation and it's like you got to give this information out <laughs> so i was like you know um you gotta understand that we've been bombarded with all kind of things and it's important that we um understand where we are going um, in this dimension of energy. A lot of the young people are um, turning away from religion. All right. They are into this point where, hey, I'm not worshiping no God and I'm not praying to nobody. But, you know, this is the point where you learn, teach them how to um, learn how to link into their. Uh, spirits. So this is your tone of uh, meditation. So um, they are also linking into this powerful seventh dimensional energy. You know, and when we talk about the dimension, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, area of energy. And this is what we're moving back into. Hold on here. Yeah, it's a it's a um area it's it's an area where we're moving back into this energy. Um, it's important for us to remain focused on building ourselves. Um, yeah, the seventh dimension is all about high frequencies and vibrations. And, you know, this is what's happening right now. Our galactic sun is sending us major major light codes. Um raising our energies and vibrations um helping us to link into this hyper powerful energy um also the seven dimension is allowing us to be able to make things happen that mankind can't understand all right it's an informational tool you gain information and you act upon it, you can link into higher frequencies and at the same time, you can um, use those higher frequencies as a weapon, all right? So we gotta understand that 
our movements are based upon frequencies and vibrations, which creates the energies. All right, and that's what the seven dimensions is, is, is all about. You know, um, it's an area of excuse me, there area of frequencies and vibrations. I'm talking to you. I <laughs> had some grapes. <laughs> you know, this is our bodies. Our bodies do things that they're supposed to do. And my body, my body had to give up that gas that was on that was in my belly. So that's what it did. So, um, just wanted to share it with you all as we're moving into this higher frequency, you know, eighth dimension. We're going to be going to the eighth dimension. Um, but some a lot of brothers and sisters, um, as they tap into this energy, in um, they be understanding that you know, hey, you can heal when you first start tapping into this energy. One of the first things that you learn how to do is heal. Like I said, I went through my stage of healing people. I mean, oh my goodness, I healed so many people. And um, it's important that you understand um, what your position is on this realm. You know, everything happened for a reason. We wouldn't just put on this realm for nothing. Like Brother Bobby said, hey, we fell. But everything happens for a reason. And we were here to protect this realm. It's like the angels of the heavens. We so-called black people who are the angels of the heavens, the primordial deities. And this is where we're stepping back into our place of rulership. So, yeah, the um, self-dimensions, dimensional frequencies and vibrations. Um, and you hear that ringing. My wife was like, oh, that's ringing in my ear. And I told her, I said, that's a good thing. You know, you get that ringing in your ear. That means you're, that means you you come you have come online with Mother Cosmo, with nature, which means that you as these light codes come in, you're receiving this information. All of us so-called black people, all of our ears are supposed to have that ringing in it. You know, don't let these Saxons tell you, oh, this is uh, tinnitus and. I'll give you this pill and they give they give you this shit right here to stop your communication. And that's another part of the seventh dimension is communication, you know. Um but it's more so um we're going into this frequencies of vibrations, this energies, this information. I'm going to the eighth dimension is when you're dealing with uh telepathy, you know, when you are able to um communicate with others mentally and see this is what we fell from you know this is what we fell from I'm not going to go too far here in the dimensional energies but you know um, this is what we fell from we fell from that telepathy that, um, the frequencies receiving information because we were multi-dimensional beings you know we were at the 13th dimension at the, the time of the fall and you um, well, we were working on the 13th dimension. I should say that because we were much higher in the dimensional energies, but we were working on the 13th dimension. And during the time of the fall, we were trained, mentally trained, to communicate la 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 with our mouths and not with our minds. We were um, trained to speak the English language and not the original um, Gnostic language that we spoke. We spoke a completely different language. It was a more powerful language that allowed us to um, do things that the Saxons feared. I mean, because you gotta understand when we spoke um, the, the, the what we spoke out of our mouths, the language that we spoke caused our organs to vibrate. And as our organs begin to vibrate, they begin to let off different energies. And therefore we were able to make things happen with our bodies. The Saxons could understand. You know, you gotta remember we were brand new to them. They knew nothing about us. 
from St. Davis, they were ordered to come here and hold us down. They were ordered here to come here and and occupy this realm. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna be going deeper into the occup the oc occupying of this realm that these Texans have, have done because they have um, literally caused a lot of things to happen. And this is what judgment, just this is why the judgment is coming in. This is why the judgment is coming in. You know, they, the entire species is under judgment right now. Their entire species. We're going to talk about that. All right, we're going to go into that, but mainly, um, just want to talk about the seven dimensional energy. All right, in the seventh dimension, it's the dimension of information where we, um, the frequencies, the vibrations, the frequencies, mostly frequencies, and yeah, your, the vibrations because your body, your body begins to vibrate on a higher level, and the frequencies within you begin to, um, it's like you hear that weep, and then you listen in, and as that frequency is coming to an end, you can hear um, in the language that we speak what is currently taking place. All right, so it's like you get this information. You got the sun sending off information. You got the moon sending off information. You got um different planets, Venus, um, planet Camino, planet um, Mars, Jupiter, planet, um, what was that, uh, planet Sheba, planet Nefertiti, uh, we got all these different planets that are sending in information, and if you tuned in, you'll get that wee, and these planets are sending information, say, hey, this is what's getting ready to happen, and why? Do, how do they know it's going to happen, because they're causing it to happen. All right, so yeah, seven dimensions is a dimension of high frequencies, high vibrations, and this is why the um, what they call the Schumann resonance. This is why the Schumann resonance is off the freaking hook because we are in this seven dimensional energy on this plane. This plane is moving back up into the higher dimensions the way we're supposed to be. All right, this awakening is greater than what they thought it would be all right this awakening is far greater than what they thought it would be so yeah you this is this is literally powerful um knowledge our planet is in communication our realms the realms are communicating with each other because each realm has got its own frequency all right just like each universe has got its own frequency each galaxy has got its own frequency you know each star system has got its own frequency this is how it works. Everybody's not on the same frequency. If everybody's on the same, if every universe is on the same frequency, um, then they would not be able to operate on a separate level. If every galaxy was on the same frequency, you know, same thing, you know. So you have um, our galaxy is the Omega Galaxy, which is on the Omega Frequency, all right. When the Alpha Universe, but there is an Alpha Galaxy, all right. There is an Alpha Galaxy with uh, in this alpha universe, all right. So all these different galaxies. You know, you got the Hercules galaxy. It's got its own frequency. You got the um, the Hermes galaxy. It's got its own frequency. So you know, you got all these different galaxies. You got Andromeda galaxy, the Isis galaxy. You know, they they have their own um, frequency. All right. So this is when you're able to. If you're aligned, if you're fully awakened, all right. And when I say fully awakened, I'm I'm talking about you on some hyper cosmic level. You're able to communicate with any of the planets, any of the star systems, any of the galaxies, and you're able to communicate with them on an extremely high level. And they can send you information back. All right. You gotta understand. This is where a lot of your information on building creating, designing, on um, speaking the original language, learning your names, your cosmic names. I mean, all this, this comes in to you. And this is what the, um, 
the seven dimensional energy is about. All right. Um, you're going to come across a lot of brothers and sisters now. So now that I did that, you're going to come across a lot of brothers and sisters who are going to now make videos and tell you, this is what the seven dimensions is all about. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be one of those things. All right. So I'm just letting you know, <laughs> it's going to be one of those things where, um, these, uh, brothers and sisters, other beings are going to start talking about, well, you know, the seven dimensions this and seven dimensions this, you know, you may have someone come say, we don't bro, remedy H lie. This is what the seven dimension is. I'm like, okay, well, I'm in tune. I'm not trying to compete with anyone. That's number one. I don't care what you think. I'm giving you cosmic knowledge. All right. I'm giving you ancient knowledge. All right. So you got to understand. Um, this is what the seventh dimension is all about. It's the dimension of frequencies, extremely high frequencies, extremely high vibrations. And the Schumann resonance, what they call the Schumann resonance, is showing you that. Because they're like, where's this energy coming from? This is, you know, interplanetary energy, intergalactic energy. Then you got to remember that we're still within the um, star system convergence. We're still within the star system convergence until, um, what was that, June 14th. All right. And then come July 4th, we're going to be entering the solar lunar convergence. But we're still in the star system convergence right now. All right. So within the star system, the star system is sending all types of energies. And it's important, you know, to into these frequencies and vibrations. All right. You know, you can you can link into the, the Taurus star system, the Taurus galaxy. You can link, link into the Capricorn galaxy. You can link into the the Libra galaxy. You can link into the uh, Sagittarius galaxy. You can link to all these different galaxies, all these different star systems, all these different energies and planets. You know, you can link into them all and. Gain all type of information, gain all type of frequencies and vibrations, gain all type of of, of, of powers and, you know, and abilities. I mean, it's, it's like, it's a beautiful thing. And that's what the seven dimensions are all about. You know, remember, everything is mental. You have a microverse within you that connects with the macroverse that's outside of you. So when you look up in the air, that's the macroverse. All right, that's the macroverse, but within you is the microverse. You do all your communication within you, and these frequencies go to wherever you desire. You know, you'd be like, you know, I'm linking to the, the Taurus galaxy. Teach me the origin of the Taurus energy. Teach me the origin of the Taurus vibrations. Show me how to be a Torian. Show me the way of the ancient Taurus um, um, ways. All right, something like that. You know, just just off the top of my head. Do the same thing for Sagittarius. Do the same thing for Venus. You know, you say say within yourself. I link into the Venus star system because there is a Venus star system. All right. These Saxons don't know everything. There's a planet Venus, but there's a Venus star system as well. So I link into the Venus star system. All right. And I flow with that energy. I'm learning the power of the star system. I link into the power of the star system. I embrace this energy. So as you gain in this energy from the star system, you're gaining cosmic knowledge. All right. You're gaining cosmic knowledge, and it's important that you do this on a regular. All right. And just link at the end of the planetary system, link at the end of the star systems. All right. You've got a Jupiter star system. Don't think there's no, you got a planet Jupiter. You got a Jupiter star system as well. You got a Jupiter galaxy all the way out there. These Saxons don't know about the galaxies and, the, and, and all in our, in our, and within our, our universe. They don't, they don't understand this, all right? Yeah, you got the galaxies, but guess what? 
It's like every the energies move around. All right. Energies move around. And you might have a a planet Jupiter, but the frequencies of the planet Jupiter are not the same as the frequency of the Jupiter star system. And the frequency of the Jupiter star system is not the same as the frequencies of Jupiter galaxy. All right. This universe has got multiple galaxies out here. Crazy galaxies. Crazy. These Saxons don't understand any of this. So what's happening as you gain these frequencies and these vibrations and this energy, all this energy coming into you, it, our realm also collects this information as you collect it. Our realm is collecting it, which means that you bring in all this information back to our realm that our realm fell off from. So as it's coming to you, our realm is gain, gaining this energy, the more energy, even the frequencies. And this is what the seven dimensions is all about. Frequencies and vibrations, these frequencies are nothing but information, light codes. All right, you got light energy codes as well as you have dark energy codes. All right, you not only have light energy codes, you have dark energy codes as, as well, and extremely powerful energies that's coming in, which means that you have the ability to link to anything and everything at any given time. All right, you may get information in dreams. You may get information in the astral realm. You may just be walking around and willy nilly, this just comes straight to you. You may have some child come walk up to you and just is a uh, LinkedIn and come and say, "Hey, this this is that and this is that, this is that." Like, what the for real? Bro? Where you learn that from? Well, I already know this. You know, you, you never know. You never know. So that's the whole key point. You know. Understand the seventh dimension. Now embrace it. Go into meditation. You know, these are things that you do. Like we say, we're in the age of the Aquarius. Someone said Aquarius is a it's an air sign, not a water sign. I say, well, air is water. So you know all the all the signs are com combined within each other. Air is water, water is air. Fire is water, water is fire. You know, fire is air, air is fire. You know, they're all within each other. This, this is how it works. All right? So, it's like these different frequencies and vibrations are have frequencies and vibrations within themselves to keep the frequencies going. So, as you're tuning in, the energy comes to you. Like I said, as it comes to you, our realm collects the energy as well. All right? And you tune into it. You become more powerful. Our realm and our planet becomes more powerful. All right. So, just want to share that with you all. This is seven dimensional weird and this seven dimensional energies. This is why the Schumann resonance is popping. What they call the Schumann resonance. That's why it's popping because our planet is literally our planet, our, our, our galaxy, our star system, our realm. Every realm is literally receiving. Light energy codes and dark energy codes. There's no in between grays. There's light energy codes, dark energy codes, and these Saxons don't understand this. There's something they don't understand. They, they, they it, like we said, they are alien beings here. They created an alien system. Their system they created is so freaking simple. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. All right, that's how simple their system is. When you're talking about this complex system, dealing on the planetary level, on a galactic level, on a star system level, on a universe level, on a cosmic level, they don't understand this. It wasn't meant for them to understand because they do not have the proper tools within their bodies to understand it. See, our bodies have the proper tools to understand this, which means that we higher fall on a higher frequency, a higher vibration. These things the only thing they know how to do is what they do now. Send stuff in the sky and want to control the atmosphere, make things cold because they're scared. Because there's information coming down. And there's information that comes to them. This is why they be in so much pain. You understand this energy is coming, this information. This is why they're in so much pain. 
because their bodies weren't designed to contain this type of knowledge. This is knowledge. This is pure raw knowledge coming down. No matter how much they go into meditation, it's not going to help them out because they don't have the proper tools. You, you notice how the, the other um, counterparts, like the Arabs and all, they, they start to go crazy. They really are. You know, our people, because so many of our people have um, taken on the diet of these Saxons, they start to act crazy too because they can't receive the light codes and the dark energy codes. They can't, they can't receive them because their bodies are full of dead flesh. Their bodies are full of carcasses. So therefore, they can't receive light codes and dark codes. All right? Seven dimensions is a dimension of um, information. Light codes. Light energy codes. Dark energy codes. Yes. Planetary codes. Galactic codes. Universal codes. Star system codes. Oh, yes. Powerful information. All right? So, share it with you guys. Um... I'm come talk to you guys a little later. Just, just wanted to share it with y'all. All right. Well, you know how I ended off. <laughs> All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos has changed. Tapping into these light codes, these light energy codes, these dark energy codes is chaos. It's what it is. It's chaos. It's chaos, chaotic energy. And these scientists can't understand it. It wasn't meant for them to understand it. And if they could understand it, there's nothing that they can do with it. Because their bodies weren't meant for it. Alright. Talking about, you know, species who was, you know, who was literally wiped out in the late, late 1800s. And in the early 1900s, there's like millions and millions of clones created. That's why, you know, it's like, yeah, 75 to 80% 80, 80 of these Saxons are clones. Seriously. They're clones. All right. So, understand, understand, understand everything that's going on, brothers. I'll catch you guys later. Much power to you all. Mm-hmm. <laughs>